How did you not see this coming? My God, we came this close. The old man could have buried us all. Our families. Do you think you feel more betrayed than I do? Get some perspective, please. Janus is dead. Lucas Gray is about to join him. And a cornered animal is twice as dangerous. Let's be perfectly clear. We were not exposed. The threat is neutralized. We are back on track. Even so, from this point on, we expect you to take- No, there is no way I'm doing that. How can you question my loyalty? In case treachery is contagious. Do you really want to do this to me? Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever, Madam. Here's to loyalty. My man on the island confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at sundown. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb, only to find out he's a Providence operative. I'd been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Car bomb. Sorry, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think no one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. It's a dangerous thing, having a conscience. Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank, one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming.
The Isle of Scale. Headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. Ah, one more, I see. Won't you join us, sir? We were just about to begin. Ah, I see someone's in a hurry to get inside. Well, no one's putting a gun to your head. <laughs> now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the annual gathering of the Ark Society. How are you today, sir? Not me this year, chasing tokens around like a sucker. I don't know. Looks kind of fun. Like Final Club all over again. How does it work? The tokens are hidden throughout the castle, you know, like out of reach places like the ramparts. And the first initiate to collect enough tokens undergoes a polygraph test with the chairwoman. If you're deemed worthy, you get promoted to ARC member. Hmm. I could do that. So, every year, aspiring ARC patrons compete in a treasure hunt to obtain membership status. The first initiate to collect enough tokens undergoes a private screening with Zoe Washington, which appears to involve a polygraph and electroshock device. Hmm. I suggest you join the fray, 47. A private audience with one of our targets is just what we need. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Depends on your pain threshold, I guess. You see, Zoe Washington Hello, up sir. the stakes this year. Word is, she's brought to me. Say, is that the, um, that the term, uh, ship the master of ceremonies in the chapel? Yeah. This area's off limits, sir. Move along. Cordoned off from us lower, upper, upper class guys. Tokens. Come on, need more tokens. They can't all be gone. I uh, I saw some suspicious activity over there. A guy taking pictures wearing a a journalist hat. Yeah, better better check it out. Let me think. Hmm. Let's see. No. You are not authorized to enter, sir. Come on, please, let me through. I need those tokens. Nice try, Initiate, but the rules are the rules.
What would you put back there? Maybe some kind of. You're looking good. Oh, is that a no? Shit. You know, I just. When I go see my ophthalmologist, it's like I could be, be waiting like to him. No, I wouldn't even know it. Oh, huh? Mia. Do me a favor and see what's up, would you? No problem. The great thing about Italy is that all the food is like yogurt. Yes. The pasta, pizza. Why not? Oh, what the hell? Ah, ah. I'm just sad I'll never be able to see his face when I read him the will. You think I should include a section about how much he would have inherited? In Sorry, sir. Can't let you through here. Not happening. I'm the one who wanted to ship it. What's with that weird bird effigy? It's the annual Phoenix ceremony. It symbolizes the collapse of civilization from which the Ark Society emerges unscathed to try to... Okay. Ah, rebirth. I get it. What's new is that the master of ceremonies will light the effigy on fire with Zoe Washington inside it. Huh. A bit showy, wouldn't you say? Hey, could be a dead sells. seagull. Although some of the guys like to practice their aim on her. Anyway, I've been... Found an old picture in the basement of this place from about a hundred years... Bollocks! <laughs>
you. How's the hunt? Yeah. Back in the day, it was just a few of us digging. You get your act together because, frankly, you're the worst goddamn waiter I've met in a. I tell you what, I need stop playing. Tickets. I need the floor for a moment. As much, I'm gonna win this thing for sure. Eat my dust, sucker. Uh, excuse me, but it really freaks me out when people stand too close to me. I know that look. Option overload, huh? Well, I know what I want. We're ready to no, proceed. Shut up that Please make your way to the upper courtyard. The ceremony is about to begin. Thank you. The other day, I suddenly had these serious doubts. Real, deep, existential. Okay. So this damn yoga bitch has got him running and cycling and doing sit-ups. Sorry, sir. Got orders. Can't let you through. Sorry for the inconvenience. The break. You're killing him. I never believe in marriage anyway. Hello. That's why we're playing to the archives. They always say. Hey, who the hell are you? Is this guy for real? You know him, right? Um, excuse me. You're not allowed here, you know. Hey, you. You can't be. Holy Christ. Yeah. Nothing at my position. Huh? Okay, done here. Hmm, that new stylus of yours is real Psst, Cheryl, you wouldn't happen to have one of those tokens, would you? It's just this riddle on my invite. Seek the keepers of the gate in the courtyard they await. What else? Well, one thing I like about the Ark Society is the art collection. I actually have a strong lead on the spirit of Reginus. If I ever apply for senior status, I'll win the donation for Hi there. I tell you what, I'm getting the best tickets on the Cold Fusion space rockets. That Titan project? I don't care if they haven't built the rockets yet. I am not missing out on that final frontier. Look, I I'm not gonna stop myself. I'll just come out and say it. You are looking phenomenal tonight. Oh, you're too kind. My wardrobe and all accessories are part of the Mm-hmm. Good work, 47. You've got all the tokens needed to gain access to the initiation. I suggest you find your way to the screening room. There was an ornate door near the courtyard. Hand in your tokens there. Welcome, Initiate. Take a seat. Good. Solid work, now 47. Let's this see if you can't machine. turn this interrogation Hooked to your to advantage. That's short for electroconvulsive therapy, and I assure you it packs quite a punch. In a moment, Ms. Zoe Washington is going to ask you a series of questions, and I suggest you answer truthfully, or the machine will know. Is that clear? Very. 
Good man. So, you made it this far, Initiate. But now, the real test begins. Is the machine operational? The ECT device is set to medium voltage. I don't recommend going higher than that. This setup is still largely untested. Well, as long as the Initiate speaks the truth, we won't need to. Has my colleague explained the rules to you? Exhaustively. Good, let's begin. And do not attempt to deceive me. First question, are you the best in your field? Yes. Checks out. Very good. Now, are you willing to break the law if required? Yes. True. I see. And can you keep a cool head under pressure? Yes. He's not lying. Interesting. Well, you're just perfect, aren't you? Maybe a little too perfect. Are you a reporter working for the liberal media? No. Checks out. Well, that's all I needed to hear. Congratulations, Initiate. You have passed the test. Follow me. So, you'll need to dress the part. Over there's your new set of robes. Wear them with pride. You're one of us now. Congratulations, Initiate. Or should I say, ARC member? Yep, you're one of us now. Welcome to the big leagues. Nice. Suits you. Okay, time to join your peers. Follow me. As a fully-fledged ARC member, you'll have special privileges. First offer on our top suites and bunkers, early access, you name it. Uh, would you like to be on the first ship to Titan? Well, you can now. Fascinating. Of course, with privilege comes responsibility. You are expected to invest in future projects approved by the Council and to well, donate sir. to the Ark of Legacy. Not a problem. I'm very accountable. That's what I like to hear. In fact, a man as... composed as yourself could prove useful. One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Sophia Washington. Command, I have nothing to report from my current location. Over. Yeah, ha <laughs> ha, he's scared. Lost visual on top. Command, I got a lifeless body here. It could be a drunk, it could be a corpse. I'm gonna go in for a closer look. Ah! Holy crap! Hey, I could use some back up over here, boys. 
We need to... Rise and shine. This time it's for real. Sir. Keep your eyes sir, open. He's there's here. There's something I know you it. need to take a You're look at, it. please. I have been planning the Founder's Wake for over a month. I have some of the world's most prominent people waiting to pay him their last respects. I have the star of the Prague Philharmonic on stage, ready to play a blindfolded ritual to the street of Ave Maria on the harp, for God's sake. And you're telling me that you lost a sobbing dagger? I'm really sorry, ma'am. My team received no notification. You sure they didn't give you a crate number? They did not give me a crate number. I was told. Oh. You and I probably felt like this is the last year, and yet I'm still here serving you some heated bricks. I'm telling you, it's in the realm of possibility. It could happen, theoretically. And I'm telling you, I don't care how that token is found if they got here. Yeah, okay, so uh, what's your bright idea? I figured I'd just shoot down your dumb ones until you hit jackpot. Nice. What's so special That's about him, this the Constant, Providence's top controller. Everything depends on capturing him alive. Sure, but without Janus, we would still be buying politicians in the vain hope that they would somehow wake up and that do he their wears job. it for his week. Hey, save the wait a minute. How are they gonna now we don't have to worry about that anymore? Ironically. Open casket, Murray. Are you serious? Janice died just two like months ago. Better, what did they do? Mummify him? Yeah. Not quite. It's called plastination. Yeah. The mortician right. is a uh, hello, sir. artist. No, I'm sorry, but there's no way around it. We need that dagger. me. Arctic. It's not even all that cold, if you think about it. People already live up there. It'll give me better resources. I report. If not more so. They can't build that place fast enough, if you ask me. And they are going to need a lot of people to keep that place going. Don't see the point of it. DNA doesn't have your life experiences or, or anything like that down in code. What good is cloning? There's really life like this out there. Why is it only replication? Why not enhance it? If you want to get funding for this project? 
project to become bodily and cognitive and whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, typical. And... Good evening, Sophia. Hey, did I miss the keynote? Great, so. Well, oh, shoot. I really wanted to learn more about the Titan Project. I so want to transfer teams. But who gives a crap about cryonics if you're building? Via the schemer. What's she up to this time? You know that Kronstadt designer in charge of the brain upload program? Sure. Sorry, sir. What did Not you even do? architects I don't know. are allowed back here. But she seemed real interested in this invention of his. Something called a kill switch. Kill switch? Sounds ominous. Well, whatever it is she's plotting, he did not want to be part of it. But an order's an order. But I think we both know that if it happens, there'll be some other element at play. Something even we can't predict. I would have said the same thing a few years ago, but... Look, honey, I don't care how much I hate you, Dr. Nice evening. What about I suppose. No robe, no mask. Which rank are you? Oh, I'm more of an outside observer. Mr. Name's Sinclair. I'm chief technical designer at Kronstadt Industries. The name rings a bell. Here, I think it might interest you. What's this? I think you know. The chip in your neck is my design, which means I can override it for a price. Most interesting. Meet me at the tower and be discreet. We can't be seen together. Always am. It's complete nonsense. Anyone who signs on for this has clearly been watching too many movies. Now that's a scowl fit for the end of the world. Maybe the pitch would land better. Ah, here's something 47. According to this email thread, Sophia Washington has recruited one of the architects in a plan to discredit the constant. Sounds promising. Interesting. The poison chip in the constant's neck was designed by a Kronstadt engineer, a Mr. Marek Sinclair, 
who also works for the Ark Society. Apparently, Sophia wants Sinclair to approach the Constant and offer to remove the chip. If the Constant takes the bait, Sophia can prove to the Providence partners that their top controller is not to be trusted. Hmm. Sounds promising. I suggest you head over to the conference space, see if you can't locate Mr. Sinclair. Just stay out of my path, sir. Secret passageway. I suppose you're right. I never really thought about it. When I was little. Good evening, sir. Please come in. Have a seat. It's lovely by the fire. May I see those blueprints again, please. Interesting. All right, Mr. Sinclair. I'm listening. Don't. In fact, forget all I said. Excuse me? This wasn't my idea. Sophia Washington. She's the one who told me to approach you. It's all a trap. Go on. I never asked why. I just went along because she's the boss. And you're telling me this now? Why? Let's just say I don't like to get my hands dirty. I see. Thank you for your candor, Mr. Sinclair. You have been most helpful. Hang on for a moment. Sophia, I need to see you at the tower. I'm sure you are, and no, it can't. Nicely done, 47. This should put Sophia firmly in the doghouse. I am sorry you got dragged into this. Sophia is spectacularly ambitious. Unfortunately, like most people of her elk, she lacks humility and a sense of station. And who are you, exactly? A humble advisor. Nothing more. Power without responsibility. Nothing humble about that. Hmm. You have my interest, Mr. Sinclair. I think we'll speak again. For now, you will excuse me. Sophia and I need to... clear... All right, I'm here. Are you gonna tell me what's so damn important? Ah, Sophia. I believe you know Mr. Sinclair. We've met. What of it? <sighs> I don't blame you for trying, Sophia. Just for failing. Upstairs. Now. How are you this evening, sir? Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? Definitely not through here. Your business. Get out of my face. That's your play. I recommended you and Zoe to the partners against my mentor's wishes because I saw something in you. Shit. Help me. The Constant has been alerted, 47. Mr. Gray, what's your status? Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now to deal with the Constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? I've secured the helicopter. You should be heading straight for me. Do not engage. I repeat, do not engage. I'll handle this. In position. 
You did your part, 47. Now head for an exit. Leave the constant to me. Package secure. Returning to base. Have the anesthetic ready. Over. Bloody hell. That was a close call. Head towards an exit 47. We're done here. Excuse me? You can't be here! Come in, come in!
Mr. Edwards. Still think this is maintenance. Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. You know what we want. Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? When I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlyles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. Well, here we are again. I must admit I am disappointed, Miss Burnwood. I had such big plans for you. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you are so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet, something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one, Miss Burnwood, is untouchable.